Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be And live my life off screen Taking Hey guys, it's Sharika and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So today is Friday. I'm just popping in to do an intro. I have started my vlog already, but I just want to come in and say, well, so... So, um, on today's vlog, a lot of you guys have been asking me how I make my little rose latte is what I like to call it. So, I did that in today's vlog. And also, I shared with you guys a breakfast that I've been loving lately. Y'all know that I'm not a big breakfast person. But, and I think I've came up with something that I really enjoy that I wouldn't mind having in the morning before I go to the gym. So, I'm also going to share that with you guys. And then, once that's done, and I'll meet you back in the studio so I can show you guys a few goodies that I picked up. Time's been moving slowly, so we already in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Teasing all day and when the sun sets you asking me to come through kick it with you night turn into morning do I thought this was from um, CB2, <laughs> but this is a package for Tony for his birthday. Tony's birthday is tomorrow, and he doesn't know that it's here. I actually thought that um, this was from CB2 because I ordered a really cute mug from CB2, so... Yay, he got his birthday gift right on time. I'm so happy. So I'm going to go hide this in my studio. We're back in the studio. Um, it is, like I said, Tony's birthday weekend. His cousin should be here soon. And we're going to go to uh, Restoration Hardware for lunch. So I'm just going to show you guys really quick what I'm wearing. This is what I'm wearing. So I got this outfit from Target. And I like to just tuck this in the front and then have it out in the back and then I am wearing my Chanel hoops and then I have on my little Amazon watch something really simple it's very very comfortable I love this outfit it's so comfortable y'all know I have it in I have the black one I have a fuchsia color and I have 
like an emerald green that I got from Target. I'll try to link these in the description box if they're still available because I got them a while ago. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. And I love it, super comfortable. I got my pants in an extra large. They're not that long, but yeah, got them in an extra large. And I love the way that they fit. So let's get into what I picked up. Okay, so I went to Hardery Barn because here's the thing. So I broke three of my extra large wine glasses. I like for my to drink my red wine out of like really big wine glasses. I don't like like your regular little small ones. And I had some really nice size ones that I picked up from um, Crate and Barrel, but I didn't feel like waiting. So um, I decided to go out and shop for some because like I said, I did break three of them. I broke one the other day when Ryan was here. And then last weekend I broke two back to back because they're really thin. I was so upset, but I replaced them. So I decided to go to Pottery Barn. I wish we had a Williams Sonoma here, but we don't. So I ended up getting some from Pottery Barn. I'm so happy I went in there because they're so pretty. But I did want to show you guys the first thing that I picked up from Pottery Barn is these really pretty candles. This is how they look. They're so cute. So when I took the glasses to the register, it was a lady in there and she had this one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Like, look at it. It kind of gives off like a stone vibe. It's so pretty. So she was like, oh, they smell so good. So this is gray moss and it smells so nice. So I'm gonna put these in some of my um, little glass hurricanes, but these are so pretty. I'll probably burn these a little bit later. Really nice. This one was 16 bucks for this size. This one burns for 60 hours. So nice, it smells so good. It's a really nice, clean scent y'all know I'm all about that and then I got this size and this one was $29 really really nice I love the way they smell so good so let me show you guys the glasses that I picked up I know y'all like you don't need no more glasses but I really did need some more for my red wine all of my other wine glasses are kind of small and like I said I'm really into large wine glasses like I like my glasses to be big so this is the first one this one is not that big this is the ones that I had before if you guys can see that this is like the same exact style that I had before really pretty and let's see the name this one is pure burgundy that's the name of it and this was $15 so I got two of these it's so pretty you guys have seen my glasses like this um, that I got from Crate and Barrel. So yeah, that's the first one. I did get two of those. But my favorite, I was so happy to find these. <laughs> Look at this. It's huge. And I love that. Like, Look how classy that looks. Like, girl. <laughs> This one is, um, this one doesn't have a name. Oh man. This one doesn't have a name on the bottom, um, but this one was 16 bucks. I'll, I'll try to find the link to these and I'll link them in the description box for you guys. But this one right here is like my favorite. It's such a nice big size. And I just love the way that it looks in the hand. It just looks so pretty. So I also bought two of these. So cute. I hope you guys can see it. Yeah, so love these. And these are, they're not as thin as the ones from Cray and Barrel. So hopefully these don't break on me. But yeah, I love this glass, it's so pretty. And this is just how they look, just to compare the two. This one is a lot bigger than this one. So yeah, 
I love these. These are my favorite. So I gotta just clean these and then put them away. And then I went to Ulta. I bought a Morphe palette. This is the 18T Truth or Bear. Y'all know that I like um, matte nude colors. And they had the smaller one, but they didn't have it available. So this is how it looks right here. And then these are, the colors are gorgeous. pretty. I could have worn some of these today with my outfit. So cute. So I'll just glue the name tags up here so that way I know you know what I'm wearing when people ask. So I grabbed that. What else? I bought three perfumes. I'll link my, my perfume video that I did here recently. It was like my top 10. I did it like last year. I have a lot of perfume. I don't need any more perfume, but I felt like treating myself yesterday, so I just decided to get some. I bought the Givenchy Irresistible, the Parfum, and this one smelled good. I bought the small bottle. So this one is the 1.1 ounce bottle, but it's still a nice size bottle. I bought this one. This one smells nice. I really wanted to get it right. Yeah, that smells nice. Nice little sweet perfume. What else? Oh, I bought a Giorgio Armani. Can y'all see that? I think this is my first this bottle of Giorgio Armani perfume. This one is also um, the Parfum. And what size did I get? I really like this one because it smells really, really fresh. And I am really into like clean scents. This is the one ounce bottle. I think I'm gonna wear this one today. I really like the way that this one smells. Really nice and clean. And then I bought the Absolute Gucci Guilty. I have the other one, the one in the gold packaging, which I love that packaging. That packaging is so pretty to me. So let's. Absolute for film. bought some of the infallible powder. I really like this. Grab those. And then the start of the show, what I originally went in there for, I picked up some of the Osea body oil. I've been seeing this everywhere and I've been wanting to try it. And also my girl Shauna from Happy Stylish Mommy she purchased it on the video that I watched yesterday. So I wanted to give it a try. So this is how it looks. I've been trying to get my hands on this for a while. Every time I go into Ulta, it's so loud. So I finally got my hands on it. So I'll let you guys know if I like it, but it's cruelty free, vegan, um, and gluten free. Super excited about this. So this is a body oil. 
And then I decided to pick up the body butter. So this is the packaging. I just love how sleek and clean that looks. So pretty. Let me smell it. I love my Fenty body butter, but I just wanted to try this. Ooh, I love the way this smells. The Fenty body butter doesn't really have like a nice fragrance to it, um, but this one has a really nice fragrance and it's really thick. Really, really thick. Um, it kind of smells like it has like a citrus scent to it, like an orange. It smells like an orange. I like that. Really, really thick. <laughs> so yeah, that is everything that I picked up yesterday. I went to the gym and once I came from the gym, I'm like, okay, well, I kind of want some sushi. And then I'm like, okay, well, I need to go to Ulta. And once I went to Ulta, I'm like, oh, I need some new glasses. So I went and bought all that stuff. So I had a really good day. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wash up my glasses. And I might vlog a little bit while we're at Restoration Hardware. I can't wait to have a lobster roll because that's what I want. Tony's cousin is coming. She's never been to Restoration Hardware because they don't have one where she lives. So she's really excited to try it. I'm really excited to try it because I love the vibes and I like the food too. Um, if you guys have never been, the one in Jacksonville, I can't speak for the other ones, you know, in different places because, you know, every cook is not the same. But ours, we, I think I've had everything that they have on their menu pretty much. Um, they have a really good steak. But I'm not really, I think I'm pretty much done with beef, y'all, to be honest. Um, and then the lobster roll, the truffle fries is my favorite. And they have a really good peach bellini. That's what we're going to do. I might see if she wants to be on camera or not. She might. She might want to be on camera. So we'll be hanging out all weekend long because it's my baby's birthday. I'm so excited for him. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and I'll catch you guys in a few. Y'all excuse that noise. So we're sitting in the car. Tony had to go get his um, shades because he left them in the house. I am so ready to eat. We're on our way to go pick up his cousin. I think I told y'all that already. She got an Airbnb. Um, hopefully she'll let me vlog so you guys can meet her. Um, but y'all know when we go to the restaurant and stuff, I usually don't vlog like when me and my husband doing our thing. Sometimes, but not really. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for him. Birthday. We're going to have so much fun. So much fun this weekend. So, I think his, um, his cousin will be here until Monday. So we're gonna just probably just do stuff all weekend long. We might end up riding to Orlando um, tomorrow, so we'll just see. But yeah, I'm really excited. And I got a little bit of perfume on my shirt because I sprayed it on my chest and it um, soaked through. Here's Tony. Hey, Tony. What's happening with you? You excited for your birthday? Definitely. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> for sure. All right, y'all. Yeah, oh, here's the cousin. Hi. <laughs> this is Sierra. We turning up this week. We weekend, are. I'm ready to drink. <laughs> I just need a, I need a sandwich first. <laughs> What's you looking for? Uh -huh. Manhattan, so I need to bring this and like a wood for our larks. I don't think anyone's gonna drink it. Just drink your dream medicine. It's Jameson. Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna? I don't want y'all to get sick. Y'all can't mix it. Okay, I'll just get your dream. Yeah, you could just get whatever. Yeah, you could just get whatever you like and then. 
I'm not a brown liquor girl. I like white. So what you got, honey? Patron, y'all don't know nothing about this Ron Rico. Don't don't hate on it. It's smooth and it's good. You don't have no hangover at all. <laughs> oh, I've heard about this. In Richmond, anywhere. So we're gonna do that. Okay. I wish maybe you could send it. Text to get you some. Huh? You can order it. No. <laughs> you can't no. never get so it. This gin, this, it, um, this has hints of juniper, uh -huh. hibiscus, uh -huh. licorice, and butterscotch. This is a black owned business and veteran owned. This is locally made right here. There, um, there are, some of them are retired, some of them are active duty. This is made right here. It's 80 proof. Mm hmm. It's very, very smooth. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been aged at all, but it has been distilled six times. Mm -hmm. So it gives that little, that little mm on the back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I know uh, you're not used to seeing a gold gin ever. Mm -hmm. So the reason why it's gold is because of the hibiscus flower that we use and the herbs. Yeah. Okay. So it, it definitely, it pack a punch. So okay. right now you can only get this gin here mm -hmm. and an excellent slippers. Okay. So this just launched in 2019. And like I said, the fact that it's locally made makes it dope. Yeah. And the fact that it's black owned and it's veterans owned. Okay. So my dad was a veteran, so this is like near and dear to me. Help so me uh -huh. <laughs> I promise you what's good for the goose gonna be good for the gander. That's really good. That's good. Oh, it is. It's really good. I don't mind gander. I told you. Oh, I'm I'm scavenging, but it's really never, good. I don't buy it to mix it mixed drink. Like the, the, not in a bad it, way, like when it's an interesting flavor. No, it's good. And where did you say we can buy it at? Total Wine. Total and Wine uh, and Excellence Liquor. Those are the only two places that just came out in 2019. So hopefully we can go ahead and expand it to more mom and pop places, mm -hmm. ABC Liquor. And again, it's black owned, it's veteran owned. The owners are amazing. I met them back in 2019. This is probably one of the only gold gins that you'll run into right now because of the hibiscus and herbs that we use. Okay. And the fact that this is gluten-free. Yeah. Because everybody is starting to switch. Everyone. Yeah, everybody is switching bottle, over to gluten-free. So that's the amazing thing that that is gluten-free too. Yeah. yeah. So, and the price point is $29.49. So it's not, it's not overly expensive or mm -hmm. anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I pretty much sold out of the whole bottom shelf. We just had to restock. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. All right. I appreciate y'all <laughs> even taking the time out. I tried to tell you.